Yes. Senator Mansfield on one. Sure, yes, sir. Sir? Yes, Mike. Uh, 12 30 Friday. That's good. The date? Yes, sir. Fine. Mike? Yes, sir. Uh, you reckon we might uh, make some appeal to our boys in the caucus or maybe you and Dirksen with the others to try to get them to not add any more amendments? They ran a truck through it this morning. Uh, Dirksen kept his promise, but they switched Metcalf. Oh, oh. And his vote is the goddamn railroads. And I can't stop the trucks. They got a lot more votes than the railroads. Yeah. And then I can't truck stop the waterways. <laughs> And uh, Russell thinks he can get it out in conference, but it's not going to do us a damn bit of good if these fellows yell about special interest controls and everything else and the inflation right. and blame me and then won't do a goddamn thing about it. I've been two months getting this little chicken bill that don't amount to a hill of beans. And uh, then my own folks, Fulbright, he's mad about the goddamn war and because he couldn't get a plane a year ago, and that's caused us to lose our whole foreign policy. Then uh, I've got to... Uh, Hartke, who's got two boys, he's afraid he's going to be drafted, and he raises hell with me every day. He just uh, gone nuts because he's scared to death. And now then, Metcalf's quit me. So uh, Dirksen voted with me, but the rest of the Republicans framed up with them, and they had a had a vote. Now I'm afraid that when the bill comes out, that they're just going to wreck it with one amendment after the other. We got to. I'm free to go talk to McCarthy, but McCarthy didn't get to be vice president, so he won't show his pleasure. And they're just going to defeat us and defeat our nation if we can't uh, give them a, some kind of a, a program that they'll stand for. I had them all down here. I met with every one of them. I pled with them, and they all recommended this. And Douglas didn't want to vote on it. He's the only man that really was in real danger. He got the worst race in Chicago's the headquarters, but he stood up like a man and, and gave us his his vote. But if I could, I just thought maybe you might <coughs> call the Democrats together or uh, some way at least call these uh, these uh, dissenters, uh, McCarthy and uh, Hartke and. Uh, 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 McCarthy has told Humphrey that he wouldn't vote for any more amendments. Uh, Dirksen has told us that he'll help fight off amendments, but I'm afraid with a railroad amendment, you've got the trucks. And you say, why do you treat them one way or the other? And I think we can just say to our people that we're not going to take this amendment. And it may have to be till the whole damn bill if the railroads stay in it. Uh, but McCarthy and Hartke and Fulbright, we might, they, they've all got this... I talk to them and then try to hold our group and get folks like Pastore and Muskie and some of them to supplement them because Anderson's gone and, and we haven't got much leadership there. Uh, Smathers is the darling of the railroad, but he wouldn't. He stayed with us and helped us, but he and Russell weren't good enough. That damn McCarthy called Met Metcalf was sure. Which him now? How did he get hold of Metcalf? I him get hold well, of Well, he got him. And Metcalf called in the office yesterday and told him that he had given his proxy, and we counted on it. He'd given it to Russell Long. Yeah. But he called up yesterday and said that he wanted to uh, uh, give it, in the case of the railroads, he wanted to give it to McCarthy. And McCarthy just misled us. He's just awful, Mike. That fellow is uh, just that special interest. To he, he, he got worked up about the airlines. So we sat down and talked to him, and when he walked in the door to vote, he told Under Secretary Barr he was now satisfied and the bill was all right. He walked right in, they closed the door, and he made a motion to run a truck through it with his goddamn railroad. Well, do you want me to get together with Dirksen and some others? I wish you'd get together, Dirksen, and say if they... Members. If they're going to adopt these amendments, we might as well not have a bill. And I'm going to give the goddamn this message to the Congress that talks about inflation. And then they take some two months to pass a little bill like this. And then they give a special interest group like the damned old railroads. Uh, the thing to do is they send out that kind of a bill, veto it. Well, but where, where am I? Yeah, probably get dead that much more. Yeah, that's right. I think if you tell Dirksen, and you all would agree to bipartisan opposing, okay. uh, Martin said he wouldn't go with any more amendments. Dirksen told me the other day he wouldn't go for any, and he kept his word. I'll say that for him, but in my Democrat. Then uh, 
if you would pick three or four of these liberal ones, like McCarthy, he's promised us, but he may run off and call Hartke and say, please don't gut this bill now. We've got to stand together. You're going to hurt, uh, you're going to hurt all of our people, and you get us divided with the president. Why, it's bad. And see if you can't uh, get it up before these pressure groups get it. Right, yeah. You see, it's dilly dally around what the damn thing did. They held it up. Russell did a week over there, and. And uh, the railroads got all their lobbyists in here, and they've just gone from one center to the other. Now, the airlines will do the same thing tomorrow. Yeah. They've done move the date up, you see. It ruins us. Not the day I suggested to you and Dirksen. Yeah. Wilbur moved it to the 9th. Now, this crowd's moved it up to today. Oh. And uh, uh, I think if you could schedule it Thursday and just tell them that we'll send the Treasury people to work on the report all night if they need to, Get it Thursday before they have time to get all the airlines and all the waterways, and it's just going to be a log rolling pork barrel deal. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll do my best and hold it as it is then, as the least. Yes, that's what we want, and then we'll try to take it out in conference, and I'll see you Friday at 12.30. Yes, sir. Uh, that is 207, huh? the old place. Where? That's 207, you know, right off your old office up yeah. there. Yeah, 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 okay. Okay, Mr. President. Waiting.